What are you doing over there? Oh boy, look who it is. Where could these guys be? Uh, you wouldn't have tasted a twist neck turtle, would you? I'll take the hint. Have you seen a little turtle flown around here? I'm sure you have. Hi, would you mind if I moved you over a little? You sure there's no one in there? Nobody there, and nobody there. Sometimes you just don't get what you're looking for. Hey, what's going on everybody? Ken in here, and I am in search of the twist neck turtles. They've been in here about two weeks now. I saw one, but I saw it in a very unusual place. I actually saw it on that side of Cayman Creek. Now, that leads me to believe one of two things. Uh, number one, it either went through the, the tunnel here and through the grating. It might be large enough that he could have fit through there. Or the only other explanation is it climbed, but there's no way. I don't think it climbed up this. So what I wanna do is we're gonna have a little exploration around Cayman Creek. We're gonna see if we can find at least one of these twist necks because my concern is what if they walked over there and got eaten by the, trig the, 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 the smooth front caimans, the trigs, that's concerning. So uh, let's get to it. You saw our good buddy uh, Lucifer is in the shade over there. I'm going to kind of just peer around here. I'm not seeing any in the water, but I do see a couple of the uh, yellow spotted Amazon river turtles right there. There are two caves right there that I'll stick my hands in in a moment. But for now, let's exhaust our options up here. Let's have a look in the grasses. And I'm sure we're going to find some other cool animals while we're looking for the twist necks. Now my thought is these twist necks are gonna be hiding uh, in any possible nook and cranny. So I've gotta get really down and dirty in here. And man, is this is this growing up nice or what? Look at the papyrus here. It is really just taking over. I'm gonna have to get in here and really start trimming this down. Oh boy, look who it is. It's Marge. Hi Marge, how you doing? Good to see you, pal. Uh, but I'm in, have you seen any other turtles? I'm looking for them at the moment. Oh, she's gonna make like a, like a little porpoise as she swims out here. A little tail walking, huh? Pretty good. She's gonna probably be my buddy throughout this entire endeavor, I'll bet. Let's see. I don't see anything over here. Oh man, this is tough. This is gonna be a bit of a pain because there are some really good hiding spots in here. <clears throat> but I am not seeing what I need to be seeing. Oh boy, this is crazy. I don't see any heads there. I'm looking, the good thing about these aquascape ecosystems is <clears throat> the water is extremely clear, so I can see straight down into it. What about maybe someone, do they burrow? Maybe they hide under leaf litter and things like that? That's what I would imagine. I can also pull some of this. <clears throat> Here is our friend, the Cayman. Here's Louie. Hi, Louie. <clears throat> How you doing, bud? Have you seen a little turtle flown around here? I'm sure you have. Oh, she's gonna come over here. Man, let's go back over here. Now that I know that she's over there, I can stick my hand down in here without risk of being bitten by a snapping turtle. Let's have a look. Oh, God. Oh, we're gonna move this. Really cool. Oh, that's a big turtle. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a powerful swimmer. Oh my gosh. Powerful turtle. Look at that. Beautiful turtle. That is the spotted Amazon turtle. Let's go. All right. I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. I don't want to be sticking my hands anywhere where she's going to be. I wonder if I could get this camera down in there, if that would work. Let's have a look see what's going on in there.
I don't know about you, that grating does look large enough that a small twist neck could get through. So they now have full reign of the entire Cayman Creek, which is why I saw the male over here. All right. Let's make sure our Cayman are in the cave. Yep, we got two Cayman in the cave. And they're loud. We've got the red foots. We've got Cayman, three red foots. I'm not seeing, oh, all four red foots are in there with the Cayman. Well, let's wander around here and see if we can find these turtles. I just noticed something, friends. This has been blocked off. This should be open so that water can flow through it. Good grief. Looks like it's been caved in a little bit. So we get to do a little maintenance here. Holy smokes. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good cave-in. Meanwhile, check that guy out. Holy smokes, man. There is a lot of debris in here. But look at the flow. We're back at it, baby. Probably one of the came and knocked all this rock in here. Not a big deal. Feeling pretty good about this. Look, she's disappearing into that one. The only bad thing is I've stirred the water up. Now it's going to be difficult to actually see downstream. Whew, okay, well. That is fixed. There's the rebar. Okay. We got flow again, friends. Let's wander. I want to check over here. I don't think I see anybody down here, do I? Oh my gosh, that's wedged in there pretty good. Let's see if anyone's under this log. Whoa, how about a lizard? A little bit of a lizard under that log. No, nothing good. Nothing good there. What about over here under this log? All right, we're going under. I don't feel anything. Wow, that's a deep, that's really deep right there. That's a good hiding spot. But I'm not feeling anybody at the moment. Wow, holy smokes. Turtles can be extremely stealthy, especially the twist necks. This is a pretty good area. I almost feel like I need to step in the water. Whoa. Get to do a little pond maintenance as well. That's a pretty deep hole, but no turtle. Wow. Hmm. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't know where those caiman were. That's for sure. Oh, chasing fish around. Gosh. 
a real pain in the neck. Where could these guys be? I mean, I know for certain I tested all this. We have the blockings here, so I know they aren't getting out through this. So I'm really not worried about them escaping. I'm more worried about them being eaten. Plus, we've got the two caiman inside the cave. It's possible they're laying on top of them. Oh man. This is a pain in the neck. Where could these guys be? Did you, I don't know, would you have eaten by any chance? Uh, you wouldn't have tasted a twist neck turtle, would you have? Because that would be a bummer. I hope you haven't. Anyway, we're just gonna keep looking in here. I don't see anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, wait a minute. This looks like a good place to hide. Nice and moist in here. I put this hay bale in here so the female would have some material to possibly make a mound for a nest. But she never did. She just put her eggs right on out in the open. Man. What the heck? All right, we're going under again. What's crazy is we haven't even found the musk turtle, which is another turtle I know is in here, but haven't even found him either. So it's possible that I am just not seeing these two tiny little guys. They're not tiny, but they are definitely cryptic. Let's go underneath here. Wait a second, look at this. Look at this. Here's the musk turtle. Mexican musk turtle right here, out of the water, hiding in this bromeliad. Holy smokes, so I, I mean, I just walked right by that guy almost. So, it is entirely impossible that there a turtle hiding where I least expect it. You know what? What's going on over here? Whoa, I almost fell. Uh, nothing. Oh man, let's flip this. I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna need both hands right here to try and move this. This is a pretty heavy rock, but maybe if I can kind of move it a little, I can see if anything's hiding underneath it. Oh, look at that, that is a cool area. While I'm here, it's a good opportunity for me to do, like I said, a little maintenance. It looks like we've got some roots that have grown down into, oh my gosh, into the pumps. We don't want that. Wait a minute. That's a wire. I don't want to pull that too much now, do I? Look at that. Good thing I'm here. Yeah, we don't want that. It's our thermometer tied around. Hold on. Yeah, it's our ion gen that helps us control algae in this. Still got pretty good probes left. I'll probably need a new one soon. But the good news is that there's no turtle in there. But there, guys, there are some real deep crevices in here that turtles could definitely hide away securely in. 
I don't think I could actually probe all of them. Holy smokes. And those two are kind of tiny considering what they are. So, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have any luck. There's so much to search. All this dead leaf. All right, well, I'm trimming up all these roots. I won't have to worry about them again for a while. Got better flow. That's good. Tell you what, let's give her a check on these pumps while I'm down here. Whew. That goes down, man. Holy smokes. That is deep, friends. I can't even reach the pumps. They look like they're good, though. Holy smokes. Where could these turtles be? There you go. Whew. Wow, that's, that's pretty heavy. Okay, well, some of these rocks, like I said, I stuffed my hands in there, they go real deep, so it's entirely possible the turtles have found some really cool hiding spots. Man, this is interesting. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm probably gonna see these turtles when I least expect it, and then I'll know they're okay. Let's flip this back over. All right, little stepping stones. But man, what am I gonna do? Whew. Part of me knows when you put animals in these large enclosures like this, they're just gonna do their own thing. And it's something we call benign neglect. We have the proper habitat, food gets thrown in, there's a lot of food that's living in here with the small invertebrates and all the little fish and fish fry that have been hatching out in here. So that's all good news. Um, the only thing that could be a problem is in the winter time. If it gets cold, I could be in trouble or these turtles could get in trouble. Again, really deep. You see, these, these are some nice crevices. Let's pull this out. Some nice crevices in here, but I'm not seeing or feeling any of the turtles. But those crevices are kind of where the junctions are between the giant rocks. So there's a lot of pockets in there that they could easily hide in. So I'm not completely concerned that I've lost these animals. I'm sure they're in here, but boy, I'd love to see them because that's kind of the whole, that's the whole point, isn't it? You want to actually see the animals you've been caring for. What are you doing over there? These redfoots have settled in nicely here and they seem to be getting along nicely with our caiman, which is awesome. You'll notice winds picking up. We're going to have a hurricane. There's a hurricane in the Gulf right now. It's not expected to hit us here in Palm Beach County, but we are going to get a bunch of rain and this weather is going to deteriorate as we go on into the next day here. Oh, hi. You are beautiful. I don't want to get bit by you, though. You sure there's no one in there? You sure there's no, no other guys? I am sticking my head awful close to your toothy grin. We don't want any trouble. Holy smokes. I'm going to go back on the other side and give her, give her another look. Well, all right. Let me feel over here. Nothing. Oh, she didn't like that. I kind of gave her a nudge. All right, I'll take the hint. Wanted to just nudge her and see if there's a turtle under her. Totally possible. Totally possible. Whew. All right, let's get on the other side. So love this. In, this habitat's one of my favorite. Um, just because of the multi-species I'm keeping in here. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. There goes a basilisk, another South American species that decided to take up residence here in South Florida. Hmm, let's have a look again. Hi, would you mind if I moved you over a little? Just to see something, nobody. Nobody behind you, huh? Good grief. Oh, 
Nobody there, and nobody there. What about inside? Is plants, nothing. We have to see where Marge is too. Now I haven't checked the footage. It's possible when I shove the uh, camera into that cave, there may have been a turtle, but I didn't notice anything coming out. They're like shallow habitats. I would consider this entire stream a shallow enough habitat for these guys. Get all up on Lucifer here. Hi, Lou. Pardon me, buddy. I'm sorry to trouble you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm a pain in the neck. I'm not seeing anything down in there. But over here, let's get on that log. Let's get on the log. Whew. Okay. Be smart about this. We're going to lift up and look. Uh, nobody at the moment. Ah, oh, not seeing anybody. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Sometimes you just don't get what you're looking for in these videos. Oh. Things just don't always work out like they should. Oh, that's nice in there. We have a female musk turtle. Haven't seen her either. But again, that doesn't mean she's not in here. It just means they're hiding so well. Oh, there she is. As I speak, look at this. There she is. The female musk. Pull her out. Whew, I'm glad I didn't get bit by her. How cool is she though? Really beautiful turtle. Look at this giant Mexican musk. Uh, Storiotypus salvini. Really beautiful uh, species. And she's tough. She is tough. But look at that beautiful skin. Reduced plastron, similar to a snapping turtle. Uh, just an overall gorgeous little gal. The male's on one side, she's on the other. They can't fit through those gratings. But apparently, the twist necks are able. Oh, she's pretty fast. Nothing in here. But you see that? She found a good hiding spot. And I'm sure that some of the other guys have found them as well. Ugh. Back over here with our buddy. Oh, settle down. I'm not doing anything to you. Again, good hiding spots in here. Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to get bit by you. Are you going to get annoyed? He just wanted to turn around and make sure I wasn't going to do anything stupid like touch him. Hi, Louie. I'm looking for uh, some turtles, bud. I hope you're not annoyed too much. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you're tough, you're tough. Well, friends, no dice. No dice for me. Oh, we've been looking for a while here and I have got no luck. What do you think? Do you think they're in here or do you think the caiman ate them? You're gonna have to let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you what, we'll have to uh, continue this video at another time or I'll make another one when I find these very elusive twist neck turtles. Whew. Holy smokes, incredible. All right guys, there you go. Thanks for helping me look today. We did find all the other turtles that live in here though, so that's good news. And where's Marge? Usually Marge is chasing me around. She's not around. So we know that the turtles are in here because we keep finding all the other ones. And the twist necks aren't much smaller than any of the smallest ones I have in here. So which would have been that giant musk female. So anyhow, guys, who knows if I see them, I will definitely post an update. Oh. What's up guys? So uh, it's a couple days after I actually made that video about the twist neck turtles and I wanted to end it with a happy note, okay? So I was just opening my door here to work on my bicycles inside my warehouse and look at this. Right through there. What do you guys see there? There's the female. She's right there and she's hiding in a really cool spot. She's under that rock that I never would have thought she could get behind. Look at this. She got behind that rock right there. When I was looking all over this enclosure, I told you 
these guys are pretty good at hiding in little spots. So there she is, there's the female, and I did see the male uh, before I started looking for the video, just on the opposite side. So we're doing good with our twist necks, that's so cool. I just wanted to leave you guys with a nice update so that you knew there are two twist neck turtles in there. Can't have a video of twist neck turtles without the twist neck turtles. See you guys.